connective tissue tells the muscle what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate what I show to medical students, which is that there is a fascial connection from the head to the toe. So if you, if you stand and I just bend my foot, you can see I, I dorsiflex a reasonable amount. But if with my legs straight, I don't dorsiflex as far. The gastrocnemius crosses the knee joint. When I relax the gastrocnemius, it's just the soleus that's blocking movement. But down here, it's the gastrocnemius that blocks the movement. We all understand that. On the other hand, when I put the leg in the same position this way, as when I was standing straight, guess what? There's less movement at the ankle when my hip is flexed to 90 degrees. Huh? That topographically, we cannot understand how the spine and the pelvis functions because we need a functional approach. And that functional approach actually means that our classification topographically in structures who are in the front or structures who are in the back actually, and here's the big word for this course, are connected. So here you see, from right heel strike to right heel strike, transversus never turns off. It's not just a simple mechanism of stiffen your spine and keep it upright. Function involves dynamic control. And what you can see here is two alleged runners. This person on the left is clearly able to keep their spine upright, but they're not moving it. This person is allowing dynamic motion between the shoulders and the pelvis. The myofascial system is required to provide control, not just fixing the spine in space, but allowing it to move. There is no experimental or theoretical evidence that barefoot running has or should have less injuries than children. Nobody knows whether barefoot running has more or less injuries. Nobody. The conclusion from this study is your tendons develop while you're growing. After you're 18, there is not much of a turnover of your tendon unless you have an injury. So you always have fibers around the region here. Here, here are some fibers, here are fibers, and then you have to decide as an orthopedic surgeon which one is important and which not. It's such a non-specific treatment that we have to think about, and it's been brought up previously this morning, that there are some negative effects to the use of NSAIDs. So a study that pointed that out that's been largely uh, neglected uh, over recent years is a study done by Rick Lieber and his group in 1995. Sports can not only change your brain, it can not only change your muscles, but it can also change the architecture of the connective tissue. The connective tissue tells the muscle what to do.